Here at Kentucky Tennessee Living, we strive to keep this site non-political in nature. All historical events posted are those that change the lives of future generations, as well as we remember those who fought on both sides of the Civil War. All events posted are for the benefit of remembering who we are as the American Appalachian people. Between the years of April 12, 1861 and May 9, 1865, the war between the states raged. The peace of the Appalachian Mountains was broken as brother took up arms against brother. Several battles were won and lost in the area of Letcher County, and we will try to cover as many of them as possible. Born at Sandlick, Kentucky on January the 11th, 1830, Benjamin was the son to John A. and Rachel Cornett Cottle. He married Martha L. Ashbury of Tazewell, Virginia on February of 1848. The 5th Kentucky Infantry Regiment was organized on October the 21st, 1861 under the command of Colonel John S. Williams in Hager Hill at Prestonsburg, Kentucky. The 5th Kentucky Infantry would later be under the command of Brigadier General Humphrey Marshall. This was a regiment that served under the Confederate States Army and in 1863 would become the 1st Kentucky Brigade under the command of Brigadier General William Preston and moved to Knoxville, Tennessee. The regiment would once again change hands to Lieutenant General Simon B. Buckner, Army, Tennessee. During the Civil War on October the 22nd, 1861, Caudill organized and commanded the Caudill's Army, which became Company F of the 5th Kentucky Infantry and then later the 13th Kentucky Mounted Cavalry. Many of the men in Caudill's Army were from Letcher County. They would be nicknamed the Yahoos. They disbanded at Hazel Green, Kentucky on October the 20th, 1862, under the orders of Brigadier General Humphrey Marshall. The men were given a choice of honorable discharge, re-enlist in a new regiment, or transfer to a cavalry regiment. In November 1862, Colonel Cottle would once again muster his men to join the 10th Kentucky Mounted Rifles. There would be times that this army would be under the command of General John Hunt Morgan. On October the 19th, 1862, Captain David J. Cottle and his men from the B Company of the 10th Mounted Rifles were guarding assault works in Leatherwood, Kentucky. The production of salt was very important to the economy of the area at that time. Captain George Morgan and Lieutenant Clabe Jones with the Harlan County Battalion came toward Leatherwood to attack the Garden Confederates. They took their positions across the creek from the guards and opened fire. Shots were fired and several of the men from the 10th Mounted Rifles were wounded. A battle ensued and lasted several minutes. Even though the men from the 10th Mounted Rifles returned fire, they quickly retreated to Whitesburg, Kentucky. During the battle at Salt Works near Gladesville, Virginia on July 7, 1863, Colonel Cottle and most of his men were captured. He is considered one of the Immortal 600 as he is part of the prisoner exchange on August 3, 1864. He returned to his command on September 17, 1864. December 17 to the 18th of 1864, Major General George Stoneman, who was in command of the Union Army in Kentucky and Tennessee, raided southwestern Virginia. The goal was to destroy all facilities and supplies that the Confederate Army had use of. Major General John C. Brickenridge was the commander of the Department of Southwest Virginia. He called into action the 10th Mounted Rifles, Cottle's Army, as a front regiment against the forces of Major General Stoneman. The two sides met in Marion, Virginia. After several days of fighting, the Confederates took inventory of the men and ammunition that they had left. They had suffered heavy losses and had very few bullets left. They also did not have time to resupply, even though the men felt that they could hold the position another day. Brickenridge called for a retreat and ordered Caudill to lead the way. 
In March 1865, the 10th Kentucky Mounted Rifles would reorganize and be renamed the 13th Kentucky Cavalry. They would disband on April 12, 1865 in Christiansburg, Virginia. However, they would surrender on April 30, 1865 at Mount Sterling, Kentucky. At the age of 59, Cottle had a severe cold, pleurisy, and exhaustion. He would die on February 11, 1889, while on a trip to Tennessee to organize a church. Thank you for watching our video about Cottle's Army and the 5th Kentucky Infantry Regiment. We thank you for continuing to support Kentucky Tennessee Living as we bring you the history of the Appalachian Mountains. Please like, subscribe, and share below. Also hit the bell for notifications of future videos. And once again, be sure to leave us a hey y'all in the comment section below. Thank you for continuing to support us and watch our videos.